Hey everyone, this is Aaron with Elite Water Sports down here in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I have the XR6 behind me, and I want to do a quick review and show you what core kiteboarding has changed about the XR lineup. So, this is their sixth generation, and they've tweaked it just a little bit so that it won't be too different from the XR5. That way we won't lose any older riders, and we probably are going to gain a whole bunch more with its new feeling and the new loftiness, the new boosting, and how fast this thing's gonna be through the wind window. So what they did, they changed the bridle around a little bit to make sure that that kite wants to surge forward in the window when it's needed. They also changed the uh, intelligent arc system so that the actual kite will flare its wingtips when you pull that bar in. And when you sheet that bar back out, it'll depower fully and go more into that C shape. Now it's a five strut, a system, a five strut kite, and you need five struts to handle all that power that this kite generates, okay? So, what you're going to experience, if you were to take an XR5 and an XR6 out at the same exact time, back to back, you're gonna see that the XR6 is gonna be faster through the window. It's actually gonna feel faster when the canopy doesn't luff at all, they tighten it all up, and it also turns a little bit more pivotable within that turn. Now, sometimes when you have that kite turn so fast and it's so aggressive with its turning speed, you're going to lose some of its loftiness when you do those down loops for your landings. And they've actually improved that. So now the XR6 is going to catch you much easier when you do those down loop transitions or maybe perhaps you're into mega loops and you're going way up, you're sending it, you're so high in the sky, you loop that kite real low. Well, this kite's gonna first surge to the edge of the window much faster. And when you do that down loop, it's gonna catch you much easier than previous models. But they haven't lost that XR feel. So you still have a lighter bar pressure and they've uh, made it so that you can adjust that to your like and feel with the CIT system. They really thought about it all for this one too, is that they lighten it up. You know, people were saying that the kites were just a little bit too heavy in the sky. So what they did, they went into the leading edge, they thinned it up a little bit, lost what they didn't need, and then the kite's still just as durable, just as rigid in the sky, it just feels lighter in the sky now. So the full range of the kite is from five to 19 meters, okay? But when you get to that 15 meter mark, it starts their light wind addition. That canopy goes from single rip stop to, uh, uh, from triple rip stop to single rip stop. And then the leading edge materials are all gonna be the same Exotech that they've always used. It's just gonna feel lighter in the sky. And that's what you need from 15 to 19. It doesn't sacrifice durability. Everybody's really worried that now you've gone from three to two uh, single rip stop. It doesn't sacrifice durability. It's just that now it's not going to be as rigid of a platform as their three uh, their uh, three rip stop. So who's this kite for? Obviously, this kite's going to be the boosting machine um, out of the whole lineup for uh, core kiteboarding. If you want to go to the moon, this thing's going to send it to you. What we found is that there is no other kite on the market that you're going to boost as high as this kite does. Uh, there are some close competitors, but this XR6 has taken the cake, at least in St. Pete at the moment. So, who else does it go for? Now, we were able to go out and foil, and this thing surfs amazingly well in comparison to earliest previous models, okay? Uh, is it going to be the best kite for surf? But no, no, not at all. It's going to be a boosting kite that surfs pretty well. Freestyle. XR5s, XR4s, they'd almost pull your arms out when you unhooked. But I was able to go out there and do some simple freestyle, pass the bar, get enough slack out of it to actually improve my game with unhooking and still be on the same platform that I'm breaking records with. Uh, mega loops. Everybody seems to be wanting to get into mega loops lately. That's the new rage, right? And this thing was powered up 45 foot jumps and doing perfect catching mega loops, what I would classify as mega loops. And I was super impressed with that. And the lofty landings made me want to do it more and more and more. So it's got my stoke back alive again and start to, I'm starting to huck those kites even more aggressively. So 
What we advise though, don't take our word for it. Come on down to the shop or go to your local core dealer, check them out. They'll be more than happy to let you try these new kites out. Go take it for a rip, put it through the test, right? And I guarantee you, you're gonna come back from your session with a big smile on your face. So this is Aaron with Elite Water Sports at 727-800-2202 or catch us at EliteWaterSports.com. Have a good day, guys.